Hi, this is Mike from Minimal 3D Paint. And as you follow my video, some of you might know, component of trying to standardize the equipment by various 3D printers. And one of the ways I'm doing that is on BMG Direct Drives, and then also trying to install the Hero Me cooling system on every big fan of, of that mod. There's so many different configurations. I can basically make it work on any printer. Now, on one of my printers, I tried it in the past and it didn't work well, and that's my Ender 5 Plus. Let me show you the problem on the Ender 5 Plus. On the Ender 5 Plus, you have these pieces right here holding up the uh, bed rods. And if you have a DL Touch installed, DL Touch can ram into this, same with the tip on the hot end. Um, so I thought this was sort of an insurmountable issue. I had have the EVA 2 installed in my Ender 5 Plus right now. And I've honestly just been having a lot of problems with it not cooling correctly, jams and everything else. And I've taken it apart at least a half dozen times. So I've decided, let's just try the Hero Me. I have it on two of my other printers and I'm again pretty pleased with it. But I know from past experience that these will block the BL Touch. I don't want to ruin that BL Touch. I'm not sure how I missed this, but in the documentation, it actually recommends a fix for that bed issue. There's these little bed rod holders you can use to move the bed down slightly, it fixes the problem. And it also apparently is a problem for the copperhead mosquito as well, the, the side bumping. And I thought, well, I don't want to change the bed because that'll lose print space. But that's a look, and it's only 30 millimeters. Now, on top of being able to buy this for $30 from Bond Tech, I can also print these. And so I've gone ahead and printed several, and then I'm just going to go ahead and change these out. As you can see, I've gone ahead and printed out, and I actually printed out eight of these. I only need four. I only need to do the top of the bed. So I printed these out. I'm printing them out in PLA Plus. So they should be a little tougher. I have a little flex here, so that way hold the, the rod in tight. And as you can see, I'm losing about and that 30 millimeters. But in order to, to be able to just use whatever hot end I want um, and whatever mount I want, I think this is the way to go. I'm just real quickly going to install these. Uh, hopefully you find this helpful. What I'm going to do is just change these out one at a time because I, I really don't want to have, because I'm not sure how the bed's going to react when I start loosening things. So I think it's better just, again, one at a time. And so I see how this is going to go. So the first thing I need is I'll start over here and I'm going to need a bigger hex head. What I'll have to do is loosen this at the top, loosen this at the bottom as well. We'll see. Take the screw out and I'll put it here in my magnetic cup. And then I'm going to go ahead and loosen the one at the bottom. Let me change the camera angle so you can see it. I'm going to have to figure out how to get in there. Okay, so I found a regular hex head to get in here. And I just need to loosen this enough to. Okay, so the rod just slid down. Didn't appear to hurt my bed any. Let me go ahead and take off this right here. I'll replace it with my printed one. Let me move the camera angle. If you look carefully, you can see that the rod has slipped down. The rod's now lower. That's a little off. Let's see if we can get it with this. Get a little more leverage. There we go. Let me go ahead and loosen this one, and then I'll use my driver. There we go. That's in there pretty tight. Probably a good thing. Screws over here in my cup. Holes there, so that's good. So we'll just So I probably need to push this rod up, but what I'm going to do is go ahead and tighten these back in. That way, yeah, this is exactly where I need it. Oh. 
close my door because my dog just busted it. I definitely don't want to tighten these all the way until I have both them in. That's tight. And then what I need to do is move this up. I'm just going to go ahead and push the rod up. I'm going to use a microfiber. Oh, there we go. See the rods now wash up here. And I'm just going to go ahead and tighten the bottom because I think that that's nice and tight. And then it looks like these, I'm just going to tighten up the screws here and they should thread the plastic. That doesn't look like it's going to hold. I can put a nut over here, I think. I'm not too worried about this. Looks good. So now what I'm going to do is go ahead and lower the rest of them, and then I'll come back. As you can see, I've gone ahead and moved the bed. I've put the connectors in everywhere. I'll be honest, I should have done this a long time ago. This will give me much more flexibility when I'm taking a shroud to go on here. Okay, so I'm taking this one off. I'm going to go with, I think, the Hero Me 7. I'll be installing that. But I said, quick, easy upgrade, and I'm only losing 30 millimeters of space. And I think it's well worth it. So, again, this is Mike from Minimal 3 dp I appreciate you sharing your time with me today. Hopefully you have a good day. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below. And if you like what I'm doing, feel free to subscribe. Thanks. Talk to you soon. Bye.